The leadership of the National Union of Food, Beverages and Tobacco Employees, led by Latif Oyelekon, has denied allegations that the union is in crisis. A splinter group within the union had drawn the attention of the public to the challenges they are facing at a press briefing in Lagos. The factional acting national president of the union, Comrade Peter Onoja, says that the members have suffered bad leadership in the past 12 years, among other anomalies. He called on the federal government and well-meaning Nigerians to assist in ending illegality in the union. Otto Yeleko had described reports of a crisis as a lie by embattled members who had been suspended for anti-union activities. Joining us now to discuss this are Comrade Peter Onoja, Acting National President, and Comrade Philip Abiodu, Acting National Treasurer. I thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us on the news. I'll start with you, Mr. Onoja. What are your main grievances against the leadership of your union? Thank you very much, my sister. Uh, it's all about uh, our constitution. Uh, constitution is the norm of every organization. Uh, yes, Comrade Latif Oeleko has been our president since 2008. He served from 2004 as a deputy president to 2008. He emerged January 10, 2008 up to date, which is about uh, 12 years. And, and this is our conference year. We expect to hold conference. And he said, no, he wants a tenure extension for two years. And we are saying no. Then the extension of our constitution did not recognize it. We went to court. We have an interlocutory injunction. He violated it. Whole conference in the middle of the night came out of that conference. They, some of us are suspended because we agitate for the right thing to be done. And today, after then, the members of the union met about 30 to 35 branches, passed vote of no confidence on him, and they appoint me and other good hands to lead the union so that. We went through the process of the court and to make sure a normal election is being called upon. Um, Mr. Abiodun, how did the current president spend 12 years? Have there not been elections? No, there was election. We have the first election in 2012, from 2008 to 2012. That is his first term. We have another one from 2012 to 2016. That is the second tenor. 2016 to 2020, this is the third tenor. And if you read the sequence of election, if you take an oath in January, your anniversary year will be January. He took an oath on January 10, 2008. So if you check January 10 to January 10, 2020, that is good 12 years. You understand? So this year, we are agitating for him to hold election. We are begging him to hold election. We said, don't, why are you, do you want to get two years at the back door? Why don't you come and hold election? If you win, we support you. That we cannot support illegality because our constitution did not give room for any extension. And that is why we are begging everybody, all relevant authorities, to come to our aid so that our constitution will be obeyed. Somebody cannot sit on power and believe. If you do, he suspend you. He just get up from his house, suspend general secretary, suspend this because he believes he has all the power. And because he has the backing of some people at the top, he believes he can run everybody down and begin to do whatever he feels like. All right, let's see if we can get uh, Mr. Biodu uh, to speak, if he can hear us. Mr. Biodu, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me, Mr. Biodu? Okay, I, I can hear you quite faintly. Um, could you tell us um, what led to your suspension? Is it true you have been involved in anti-union activities? Thank you. Uh, I don't know what uh, Comrade Oyelekon termed as um, uh, anti-union activity. What we did is to ensure that our constitution is respected uh, periodically, uh, after four, four years, elections are conducted. He emerged 2008 as the president. He presented himself for election in 2012. He emerged. In 2016, he presented himself for election for third term. He, he emerged. But we were surprised 2020 that he's supposed to be an electioneering year. He now said 
he wants to continue to be in office. And some of us now felt this is a bridge of constitution. And we cannot allow the union to be docile. We need to ensure that the constitution is adhered to. The next thing he said is that the role we have played, that it is anti-union, and we are hereby suspended. And we said we have critical stakeholders in the union. We have a right to agitate to ensure that the constitution of the union is respected. That is our position. What steps have been taken to resolve the crisis? Thank you. We wrote to the Honorable Minister of Labor. We also wrote to uh, the Employers Association. We went to court when we begin to realize we are not called upon. And as law-abiding citizens, we felt we should not do things that is against the law. We now felt we should approach the court. And the court, the case is in court. We are surprised that he's not even respecting the dictate of the court. And now he feels the best thing to do is to come back to us and victimize us. And we said, no, we are, we are key players in this union too. I'll take that same question to you, Mr. Noja. What steps have been taking um, in your, at your end to resolve the crisis? Is it similar to what uh, Mr. Abiodun had just said? Like we said, uh, we are still going back to programmes of labor because that is the mothers of uh, uh, the union. Uh, we believe the case is in court. We hope to get judgment from the court too. And equally, make sure we keep peace within our vicinity. Uh, we are not uh, hooligans. We are members of this union. We pay our dues. In our constitution, they said if one person feels aggrieved, he can go to court. So when you say anti-union activities, if somebody feels aggrieved and he wrote uh, a letter to Federal Minister of Labor, whether that one become anti-union, I don't know what he means by his own anti-union. But like we said, we are bona fide members of this union, and nobody can just wake up overnight and begin to look like it's, uh, his own empire, where he can hire and fire. We are stakeholders. We have written and will continue to push our case to the logical conclusion. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on the news. We hope that the issues are resolved as soon as possible and you can focus on growing uh, your union. Yeah, and lastly. All right.